We have the constant threat of terrorism, uh, we have um, cyber threats, uh, we have of course the security implications of the rise of China, we have the security implications of pro proliferation of nuclear weapons and of course uh, the security implications of uh, climate change. And, and no ally and no continent can deal with uh, these challenges alone. We need uh, Europe and North America uh, together. Uh, and NATO 2030 is about how to do exactly that. And we strongly believe that we need to strengthen our unity, uh, to use NATO as the unique platform uh, NATO is, uh, uh, bringing North America together every day uh, and to consult on all issues which are important for our uh, security. We also know that our unity uh, derives from our commitment to protect and defend each other. So therefore to strengthen our deterrence and defense, also by uh, using more common funded uh, uh, resources for our deterrence and defense, is another way to strengthen our unity, to demonstrate that we do more together. But partnerships is also about working with partners, uh, uh, for instance, in the Asia Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, uh, South Korea, uh, uh, and I think to uh, strengthen partnerships with like-minded democracies is uh, a way also to protect uh, uh, the rules-based international order. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, this is also about the consequences of the rise of China uh, uh, and, and many of the issues in NATO 2030 is, uh, uh, are relevant for, uh, for addressing the consequences of the rise of China, resilience, uh, technology, but also building partnerships with like-minded countries. So there are many issues uh, in NATO 2030. We will discuss it later on today uh, in NATO. Um, if you are concerned about the rest of China, uh, then of course, uh, soon to have the biggest economy in the world. Together, NATO allies, uh, we are 50% of the world's GDP. Uh, we are 50% of the world's military might. Uh, and, uh, and together, we can really mobilize a lot of, uh, of innovation technology. Uh, uh, dealing with uh, the consequences or the challenges posed by the rise of, of uh, China. So for the United States to have NATO means that they have something no other big power, power has. And, that's it, that, and that is 29 friends and allies. It's a unique thing. Similarly, uh, we have to and we will, uh, I believe, make sure that NATO is also focused on some of the challenges that China poses to the uh, rules-based international, uh, international order. That is part of the 2030 vision as well. The, uh, uh, I said a lot about the importance of, of adapting and also not only uh, strengthening our military capabilities but also resilience, cyber, all the other uh, issues. So the main thing is that as long as we stand together we can deal with both the rising China and uh, uh, assertive uh, and aggressive Russia. That's exactly the reason why we have NATO.